Spirit Airways, an airline with a reputation so bad that it's made its way into multiple comedy sketches, but people still seem to fly in. So are they really that bad? What about the big front seat cabin? Would that be a first class cabin equivalent? All those questions can probably be answered by a simple Reddit scan, but that's the easy way. Or we could do things the fun way and actually fly it for ourselves. And that's what today is gonna be all about. What's going on guys, Casey Flair here, and today is my last day of Christmas break, so time to head back to school. If you are any familiar with Spirit, you will know that they charge for everything on top of the base price. You are able though, to select what's called a bundle, which adds on these options for you, and also supposedly allows you to save in the long run. But when I booked, I just added them on manually, from choosing your own seat, on to paying for internet, and other, other tiny additional options to add onto your cart. It will also add these options again when you check in, from checking a surfboard, to adding on early boarding for their own additional prices. I got a bit less than an hour to cut into a boarding, so I'm gonna go get caffeinated with some starbs. Scratch that, line was too long, so on to plan B. Or should I say plan C? Krispy Kreme, I'm still on vacation, I'm still on my Christmas vacation, today's my last day, so uh, donut time. How's it going? I eat healthy, I promise. Okay, I'm still on vacation. Can we some slack? It's a holiday. Okay, heading back to the boarding area now to charge my phone up because I don't think these big front seats have uh, in-seat power. So, gonna charge up when I still can. I got to get Alpha A and tell my four-year-old school, but I'm in Airbus A320. That'd be taking me back to school. November 6th to 9th, four November Kilo was delivered brand new to Spirit back in 2018. Which services to St. Louis? Just a friendly reminder, Spirit does charge for all carry-on luggage. Not one, not some, but all carry-on luggage. Please take a look at your boarding pass. If you guys are in zones one, that means you prepaid for your carry-on. If you're in zones two, three, or four, and you find that you have an extra bag that is bigger than the standard size book bag, and the ruler bag, and the purse, and some old stuff, that means you didn't pay and you need to pay or you need to try to consolidate. Yeah, I didn't pay for a carry-on and took advantage of the free personal item included. So I had to make it work with my thick backpack. Hey, Louis, we've just been given the okay to start our boarding process. But at this time, I'd like to welcome up my courtesy free boards. Courtesy free boards. I boarded it in my assigned zone 2 since we wanted to stay on the skating and skid side and made the quick trip to seat 2A with a pitch of 36 inches and a width of 20 inches. Do us and yourself a favor, check your boarding pass, it's gonna be a completely full flight today. Alright, so far this is a nice seat, the legroom is a little bit on the cramped side, okay, a lot of bit on the cramped side, but it's still super wide and still pretty comfy. You also got a first class drink tray in the middle, there was no end seat power either, but it's not like I was expecting any in the first place. The trade table will put out from the armrest as it would in any other first class cabin though. As far as literature goes, there is a seat back menu, which just like our friends at Legion, everything is buy on board, so I don't think I'll be getting any food on this flight because thanks to lost wages, I'm more broke college student than I was ever before. There are instructions on the back of how to connect to the in-flight internet, which you can pre-purchase. There's also an ad on the Spirit MasterCard. Flight attendants out of doors for departure, cross check and welcome. And just like that, the boarding door is closed, the jet bridge was pulling away, and we were pushing back and made the taxi to run my 26 right. Also, by the way, I hate filming through raindrops.
And after that beautiful departure out of Vegas, I made my connection to in-flight Wi-Fi. If you choose to pay for that in-flight Wi-Fi up front when you book, it's 6 bucks for streaming for the whole flight. When it asks you to pay, you have to copy-paste an activation code, or a voucher code if you will, as they call it. They give it to you in your reservation and you get it from there. The Wi-Fi speed is pretty hit or miss, but it was really nice when it worked. From texting, to streaming YouTube and Netflix. We made our way over the Rockies and progressed our way into the Great Plains as I was absolutely enjoying relaxing and looking outside. Okay, here's something I never do. Let's check out the Spirit Lou. Alright, this is pretty normal and oh, okay, I, I, that's not a good presentation now, is it? Wow, I was honestly pretty surprised with my experience on Spirit today. I had pretty low hopes going in, but they absolutely blew me away. I enjoyed it thoroughly and really did feel like a first class to an extent. But there were some exceptions. I'm going to use this time to rate this flight using my channel original rating system, the Raleigh rating scale. The cleanliness gets an 8 out of 10. It's a very clean and new-ish looking Airbus A320. The lav looked like it has seen better days though, but the main cabin looked nice. The Wi-Fi gets an 8 out of 10 too. I purchased the $6 up front for the streaming Wi-Fi and it was super hit or miss, like I said. It got better as the flight progressed and at the times where it did want to work, I was able to watch my family guy clips on TikTok, stream YouTube, and track my flight in full detail on flight radar, and it was super nice to have. As far as the food goes, it was all bar and board and I didn't have any of it. However, it still looked like there were plenty of options to choose from. I later then realized that there were these things called save combos, which you can choose a bundle of food or drink together and the variations that they illustrate. It will save you some cash in the long run, and I'm also not sure that you can pre-order it when you buck, but you can definitely do it during the drink services. So for the variety of the food, I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. Speaking of service, the service on this flight was a 7 out of 10. The crew were very quiet and did a food and beverage cart run, but it was really quick, and I don't know when I would order my bundle if I wanted to. They did some trash runs, but it just felt pretty mediocre overall. The entertainment was an easy 10 out of 10. When I got the internet to cooperate, it was really reliable. From streaming YouTube, it seemed to be pretty smooth. Netflix and other streaming services worked to some extent, but just really low resolution. I've said this before and I'll say it again, but the views had so much going for this flight. From that epic departure out of Vegas to cruising over the Southern Rockies and over the Great Plains. Easy, easy 10 out of 10. Alright, time to talk about that seat. So the seat gets a 10 out of 10. In my honest opinion, I do think you can do first class on Spirit. It's just going to be a little bit on the pricey side. But if you want first class with anybody, you're going to have to pay a pretty penny no matter what. But just on Spirit, you have to add your own amenities by hand when you buck. But opposed to a legacy carrier where they would give it to you in first service by default automatically. Okay, so here's my best advice if you want to do a first class experience on Spirit. So first things first, do the big front seat upgrade on top of the base price when you buck. Pay for the streaming option on Wi-Fi, it'll get the job done. Add the save convo to simulate your first class snack and beverage service. Here's a menu for that, you can pause the video if you need to. Finally, make sure you pack a portable charger and make sure it's charged up to simulate the backseat power. So the overall Raleigh rating for this flight is going to be an 8 out of 10. And after a solid month away from my new home, I'm back for a second semester at SLU. I'm really glad I was able to get out what I did during my holiday break out west. These past couple things have been stuff I want to do for a while now, so I'm really, really glad I was able to get them out. I don't have anything in the box planned as of now, but I know whatever it is, it's going to be a banger. So I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys for watching my spirit trip report, and I look forward to seeing you guys on my next adventure. Bye for now. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. You come up when I'm boarding and you say, Shonda, I don't have a seat assignment. Because clearly I'm making this announcement about seat assignment. So if you wait until the last minute, I'm just going to put you on the wing. And it's very wet up there. So, you get your seat assignment.